Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch. Today I'm painting this cute little train. It's just going to be a red train and you know that there's all sorts of people heading somewhere for the holidays on it. This is going to be very easy. It's one of the downloadable PDFs. So if you don't feel like drawing a train today, you don't have to. You can just color one in and have some fun. Let's paint. I'm using Strathmore watercolor cards as all my Christmas cards are, and I'm using a Noodler's Nib Creeper fountain pen with the Noodler's waterproof black ink. And like I said, you don't have to draw it, but I thought you'd like to see how. This really is just a colored in sort of thing. It's just fun, and this is my idea of it, but, you know, you can do whatever you like. I think this should be very, very loose. I'm using a smaller brush than I usually do, but this is a small Christmas card and I'm just dashing some red paint around it and really having some fun. It doesn't need a lot of detail. You can do as much as you happen to feel like doing. Mixing a little of Nickel Azo Yellow in there. Just playing around. I want some kind of some gold highlights, you know, there's the beautiful shiny brass and the old trains and they're just wonderful little works of art. And so I'm adding a little of that detail because I love trains. And this is just dashing that around. So small brush, but held very loosely and or relatively loosely and just playing with it. Trains really have to have little red cabooses, don't they? I think a dark green car is just such a classic train and red and green Christmas train. It just goes together perfectly. Now for a tiny bit more detail. Now it's kind of up to you whether you want to put a background in. I tend to do it, but in this case, I'm still staying very cartoony and not trying to make a painting of it. Just a fun little sketch. Might add a little bit of blue for snow. some blue in the distance. That's enough. Now I'm adding some of that Viridian and the just some deep shadow color. So it doesn't really matter. I don't want the smokestack to be black, but I do need a little bit more shadow in there. So Quinrus, Cobalt Blue, some of the Viridian that I've used. Um, any combination of that, and that'll be good for some shadows, which really make the train, I wouldn't say realistic, but give it a base. You know, it makes it more three-dimensional, even if it's a little cartoony and fun. 
So just more of the darks. And see how that just makes that pop, having the strong shadows back there. It makes a real difference. And just blurring it a little bit off to the side. I forgot that, the brass there. Just beautiful brass work on these old trains, isn't it? Now it's time for the smoke. I just want a little bit of a haze of smoke, not the dark black stuff that would normally be coming out of there. Just a little bit of a haze and also that kind of frames the painting a bit. blue in there and let's blur that there that's looking like smoke at least idealized smoke from a train now the details I can't stop fussing over so some strong darks with the coal really makes that pop a little bit makes it a little bit more dimensional and I want to blur that around. You know, it'd be a little sooty, but that's more, we're still talking kind of a toy play train, cartoony train. So that's really to make it more three-dimensional, just a bit more detail. And like I said, you can put as much or as little detail as you want. Seriously, I could paint on this forever, doing every tiny little detail but you don't need to. I mean, you may decide, say it just needs a little hint of blue there, or you want some dark right there, or, I mean, you could go on for forever. I hope this inspired you to paint a Christmas train for your holidays, or at least to paint some Christmas cards for people you love. Happy holidays and happy painting. Don't forget to download the printable if you don't feel like drawing this Christmas on my website, paintingwatercolor.com. There's a lot more Christmas cards on there too. Happy painting.